is a renewed push to build affordable senior housing at Savannah's old fairgrounds property. WTOC's Flynn Snyder has the very latest efforts officials are using to get the project started amid ongoing delays. New hope for the old fairgrounds property, one of Savannah's largest pieces of undeveloped land. The city's director of neighborhood and housing services telling Savannah Chatham Land Bank Authority members that low income housing tax credit applications for that property are set to be resubmitted to the state next month. They think their scores are going up based upon the criteria this year, but that also means that there are probably other applications around the state that we'll see a bump up in, in scores as well. The 66 acre site off Medding Street is set to be developed in five phases, starting with that affordable senior housing, but no construction can begin without an agreement between a developer P3 Venture Group and the city laying out the rules and financing for the project. Land Bank members say there's a chance the authority could acquire the fairgrounds property in an effort to boost that low income tax credit application. The Land Bank Authority is a government body that returns unused properties to productive use. The Land Bank entered a ground lease of 99 years. That, that might be coming on a special call meeting and it would help the developer get one point. It comes after last year's decision from state officials to not award tax credits for construction of 64 affordable senior housing units at the city owned site. Leaders called those credits essential and described the application process as competitive. Oftentimes, uh, take several rounds before a project is awarded. When we checked in with the city in November, Leaders told us a development agreement was still being worked out. I reached out to both the city and P3 for a status update on that development agreement, but did not hear back in time for this story to air. Reporting in Savannah, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.